YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the Solution Kick, back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap the notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these videos. And you too can be a part of the Four Kicks Brigade. No, we have not deactivated the brigade. I've been busy. All right, I've been busy. I've been popping up on different people's feeds, but um, you, if you follow me, you know where I've been pretty much social media wise. Yeah, that goes without saying. So check the bottom thirds, and you see what I've been doing. And um, I just been living my best life in the words of uh, Duval, okay? And it didn't involve sneakers. I just was focused somewhere else. And um, I apologize for those who follow my channel a whole lot and say, hey man, just kind of left us hanging. But you know, if you follow me on the social media platform, that's where I pretty much have been. I can drop stuff a little quicker with that. But um, the desire to make videos based upon a Google check isn't there. Um, if I have something that's going to be involved in my family and personal situations, I'm going to address those first. But this video is one I should have done for you guys a long time ago. But I said my rule of thumb is the number five. I must have five of these sneakers or this particular silhouette to do a collection video, if you will. Um, I mean, something to drop Monday through Friday, if you will. It goes back to when you're in school, you know, you got your five fits for class or whatever. All right, so this particular sneaker is the Puma RS series. Okay, so um, a moment of silence for a sneaker that StockX messed up. I was gonna do a video on this, but I just didn't think I didn't. I had enough material to do it. I didn't want to drag it out. So basically, the Hot Wheels um, release of the Puma RS, the uh, blue and orange joints. I put a bid in on StockX. They said I won. I got the sneaker. It was an eight and a half. I need a nine and a half in the sneaker. I sent it back, could not get the nine and a half, and yeah, I said forget it. So everything was taken care of on the back end of that, and um, hey, sometimes you win, you win, it's cool, but um, attention to detail, StockX is struggling right now with, you know, the whole Travis X, uh, Travis Scott, Jordan 1 thing. But let's get into the sneaker. When this sneaker dropped uh, late November 2018, a lot of people were like, oh, okay, Puma, all right, you're doing your thing. Some people were like, nah, I ain't feeling it. Um, it looks like they're jacking the whole Balenciaga, chunky soul wave, you know, that a lot of sneakers are doing. Of course, Nike always had the Monarch, and, um, you know, Fila had the Disruptor series and things like that. So they said everyone was jumping on that wave. But this actually goes back to the early 90s, believe it or not, the Puma RS cushioning system, and that's what it's based behind. When it came out, they had the Thunders and they had the Supers, and I don't think those did as well because they were kind of going for that um, designer sneaker thing, if you will. Then they just went back to something that looks more sneaker pure with the more bulkier sole, but they're very, very fashionable. So we're gonna get into the first pair that I copped. So the first pair I copped was the uh, Puma RS Transformers, the Optimus Prime release, and these were somewhat limited. Um, they, they were quick strike, and of course you had the Bumblebee movie, which was um, the sneaker release was based upon. So, you know, if you know about the sneaker release, they go for 110, but any of the collaborations are going to be 120. And Puma has been dropping a lot of silhouettes of these, well, excuse me, a lot of colorways of these, and they're dope. They dope. You can't go wrong, especially some of the the more brighter, vibrant ones that have been releasing. And um, it's a cool sneaker. Plus the price, the price is great. But I had to pay, um, you know, that 120. No discounts on these. So the RS Optimus Prime from the Transformers uh, pack. I I'll, I'll probably get the Bumblebee one. It, they're still floating around out there. Just to say, I have both pair. Next up is the Puma RSX Toys, and this is the one that really, really jumped it off along with another colorway. Well, this one came behind it, but I bought this one first because I thought the other one would sit around for a little while longer, and it, it didn't. It bit me, but that one's coming up shortly, and um, hey, I appreciate you for that awesome Father's Day gift, awesome Father's Day gift. But this joint right here, let me talk about the fit of the RSX series. It's a unique fit because if you look at the sole, it's very bulky and it slopes down. It's very high in the heel portion, then it comes down and your foot is like this inside of the sneaker. So with that being said, I, my true size is nine. I wear nine and a half in these. I tried a 10 because it pushed my foot up, but then I found the more I wore them, the more the uh, cushioning kind of conformed to my foot. 
and I've told you guys countless times, I have to be careful of the different types of sneakers that I wear. Or I'm gonna aggravate a foot injury, my foot's gonna ache the entire day. So um, I tried the 10, and the 10 was too big. My foot was sliding back and forth, but the nine and a half worked. So just be mindful about the fit. This is a very unique fitting shoe. Um, I don't know if anyone covered that when they did their reviews on the RS series, but it does have a very unique um, fit to it. But the colors, that you could pull off a lot of outfits with this sneaker. Can you run in these? I would not suggest you run in these at all. This is a casual lifestyle sneaker built upon a running shoe chassis. Uh, you might have some issues because it, it, they're, they're going to be clunky if you run in these. But hey, maybe you'll do it, maybe you won't. But I, I don't advise you doing that. Next up is the Trophy Series. And um, this one got a little hype because I, I can't remember the rapper that was wearing these. And uh, they kind of promoted the, uh, the sneaker with it and part in the factory lace. And I have worn these. I just tied them back up and put them in a the box. But I love black and gold on sneakers. Just very, very clean. Goes with a lot of stuff. Pops a lot, especially with the white hits on the midsole. And um, this is a cool, cool sneaker. I, I can't say enough of these. Um, this is one of the, the R series that was getting a lot of reviews. A lot of people review this model and one I'm going to show you later. But definitely get the RS trophies to put in your collection. 110, you can't beat it. It's one of those sneakers that's not going to bust your budget and also look very dope. Next in the collection is the RS Core. Now, this one stood out to me, not because it's white and black, it's very simple, it's a basic sneaker, but the 3M hits on the lacing and on the front and um, throughout the sneaker, it's kind of dashing it right there along the, um, the ankle collar. You, you got some 3M hits. And I love 3M sneakers. 3M sneakers, we're going to talk about that in um, another video that's coming up. And uh, the Core is one of those fresh sneakers you can pull off, all white joints, um, all black. It, the sneaker's going to pop. And um, this, this is one of the ones you don't want to like kind of lose lace hanging. You know, don't tie them up and let them flop around because the laces are corded. You kind of want to tie these up. And uh, if I did have one complaint, the laces are almost a little bit too long in my opinion. I think they can be shorter, but that's just me. But a very clean, clean sneaker for the summertime. The one that started all, the RS Toys proper. Let me make sure I'm getting this one right. Yeah. The RSS Toys proper, there were two releases of the Toy Series and this is one right here. And when you look at it, if you're from the 80s and 90s like myself, this reminds you of some of the, the toys that came out. You're thinking Transformers, you're thinking G.I. Joe, you're thinking GoBots, things like that with these different colorways. Uh, She-Ra, you know, um, all, all those uh, colorways in the sneakers, you know, that's on here, it, it, t it gives a, a kind of homage to those classic cartoons back then. We had some dope cartoons back then, especially the Transformers, you know, Thundercats, uh, Silverhawks, I can go on and on and on. The Centurions, Jason the Will Warriors. Those were the cartoons of my youth. And when I see these colors, it reminds me of these are discs. Like I haven't worn them yet. I put my foot in them to try them on because these were a gift. And I can't wait to put these on and rock them. I'm telling you, these are these are so fashionable that if you can't pull these off, you just don't like them, you're not trying. So in summation, if you're looking for a sneaker that's not going to bust your budget, the Puma RS series is the one. They're not going to go on sale anytime soon because the ones, the last one to show the RS Toys, the first one, has been restocked a couple of times. It's slowly sold out in some places, but there's a shoe caught on with popularity. They can't keep them on the shelves. That's one that's popping. They have a lot of cool colorways for the ladies and um, some I like myself. If you're looking for those nice, vibrant, pastel, summer type colors, the Puma RS series for $110, you can't be. I think it's a little cheaper if your foot's smaller for the women and kids, about $80, $90 if I'm not mistaken. But still $110, $120, you can't beat it. It's not going to crack you over the head. If you get one of those coupons from one of your big sneaker purchases, 
slap that on there you're going to get a bigger discount um, and Champs, if you're looking for the shoe stores that normally carry a bunch of the colorways, it's Champs. I'm also seeing Finish Line pop up with a lot of colorways as well. Um, one that's really moving is the MTV colorway and the BMW colorway. They they have a lot of different collaborations on there. And those are the ones that are going to be 110 and 120 because obviously it's a collaboration. And um, yeah, everybody needs an equal piece of that or somewhat of a percentage. But hopefully you liked the video. Drop down in the comments, tell me what you think about this sneaker. And honestly, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys, okay? No cap, I, this is my sneaker of the year so far. That's just the way I feel about it, because it's so stylish, the price, and um, very, very sneaky sneaker that people didn't pay attention to, but it's right down my alley because it's something that it speaks to me a lot. Currently, my sneaker of the year, no retro J's on the list, none of the hype beat stuff. Y'all know me, I tend to go to the left with this stuff, but this is in the running for my sneaker of the year. Um, yeah, no retro J's on that. But I'm the solution for the solution kicks. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. Yes, I do have a Twitter. I use it from time to time. Um, I've been using it a little bit more lately because stuff I was looking for was popping up on there. But it's the solution. You can find me on Twitter as well. But I am out of here. Remember, comment, like, subscribe, tap that notification button, and let's talk about it in the comment section. Open box discussion part four coming real soon. I'm out of here. Boom. The solution.